Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast here. Welcome to another NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. This next matchup, we are going to take you on to the other side for right of this one. Last week, we done is the Flyers and the Devils. But now this time, this is where we all bring things down. The Battle of New York. In between the New York Rangers and the New York Islanders. Here's one of the best things that we've always had to call for. It's a part of the both teams that they play in New York. The Rangers in the New York City borough of Manhattan and the Islanders in the Long Island County of Nassau. Near its border with its Queens, and definitely, the other side of it turned to be like where the Mets play right towards the city field. Except it's a little bit longer distance to get to, to uh, UBS Arena to city field. There are two of the three teams that played in the New York metropolitan area, and we know that one, and the other being was the New Jersey Devils, who played in New York. But that will be coming up here very later on that part of the game once this one turned to be like very hard enough to get right from here for a next game. That will be happening here at Prudential Center. As I already showed you it last time before, as the Devils already made a loss, it means you can't make the win out of it without possible if you wanted to take them off. And this is what happens to be one of the best. In 1994, this was happened to be a conference quarterfinals where the Rangers win a shout-out run over the Islanders with a 4-0 start of the game. They've done great and they're looking like they just wanted to make another streak win. And then in 1990 was the division semifinals, was number round number two. Rangers won that game. But in 1984, it was the Islanders that beat against the Rangers with a 3-2 on the game. It looks like there's a lot of great postseason history that look like in between. Like the Knicks and the Nets rivalry of the National Basketball Association, like I already did a review on that, and the old Dodgers vs. Giants rivalry of Major League Baseballs. These two are definitely the several matches of what happens to each season. Well, that's because of what happens now. We, were never, we never know what's going to happen now. Let's find out if another team puts up a oh-wow moment for the Islanders, or oh-wow moment, a great stop, for the first seed team of New York Rangers. They are still on top right now, and they may never know what to get there. Standing by, I have his boomer. Along with the ever commentators of the support with Wood Spooty and his center ice will be the next one to determine that will be the one to take all of it clear. And this time, it's test two. I'll be back with the post game show after the third period has ended. Without being said, let's head on down to Long Beach. And NASA, as in UBS Arena, the little relocation after NASA Coliseum. Let's go! It's the team that we all bring on the Battle of New York on the Islanders and the Rangers. Boomer here, along with Woods Booty and Test Steven Center Ice. This is NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. It's about that time as we bring things on here at this arena of a new new team to bring on in for a new arena of the year. We start things off as Cryer takes it over. He has that puck blocked up by Thompson. He has it over to get a home show and he will have that start. The Islanders are on a great start run as they already made their way to the postseason last year in 2023. This time, they're looking for another number trip to make another face-off and put up another win for the Islanders and they're going to try to keep this thing going and make them all the way down to try to pick up the run. This one is a fantastic to see what it is right now. And Pelic and their team has been a lot of great statutory statistics and we've never seen how well they've done. In fact, in each season, we know that this was a tough one to break out. We love to have that, and this one is the best one to go for. A battle of in Queens. Lafreniere will have that puck right into the, into the back of the net. Miller finds that shot. Sarukin with the first save of the night. 
Dobson will have it over again to Enko and now find Romanoff. Romanoff finds Dobson and now over again Nelson. He now has that puck. He lost that one as Lafreniere will have that one into the puck bound. New York's got that puck in possession as the Rangers are back into the offense zone. Shot stopped by Sorokin. That will stop here for under 16.50 to go. We're here right now. You have the UBS Arena. No score to game in between the two. Wynn puts up for the Rangers. He makes a puck wide and makes a save. Kako lost to fucking Nelson. We'll have that back. The Islanders are back into the offense zone into the Rangers territory. Shoots away. Just Sturkin with the big save. Here's Kako Kako. He give off to Cooley. Quills on his way down into the left wing. To cut and bounce. That's been blocked and denied by the Islander defender. Balmiri will have that fucking in the right wing. Give off to Engba. Shot and release, man. Rebound scores. The start run puts it for Engba. They have a 1 0 lead and it's 48 for his career. This, along with Palmieri, you give off to Angvel that's sharp. It's a sharp edging for this one, and this turned to be like a goaltender reaction. That quick move, it puts it enough to make it desirable a start run for the Islanders on an up ahead. Islanders start off with a 1 0 lead in the first period as Romanov has that one to give that points up. The faceoff win puts up for the Islanders as Romanov has it. Zivanejad takes it over with the puck, and now give off to Kreider. Kreider brings to Wheeler. Into the offensive now, in the attacker. Wheeler lost that puck as Romanov takes it over. 15 minutes remaining in the first period. Now back to Regera. Wallstrom, the lead shot. Good save by Shosturkin. Lee lost that puck. Zivanejad takes it over. Deep pass, nowhere to go. And I see it's coming in for the New York Rangers. Just about 14-26 remaining in the first period. Still a one nothing lead over the Rangers. Now they're ready to do another draw here for the faceoff into the Rangers territory. Pierce wins the faceoff. Moving up shot. Now a good stop made here by Shusterkin. Thank you, get it over to Romanov. And Pollock have it. In reflection, lost that puck as Gustafsson will have that puck carry on. He will fire it out into the Islanders' territory. Romanov's got the puck in the defensive zone. Now find Pollock over again to Peggy. Spins around, finding Wellstrom. Loses the puck and the lead will have that inbound. Fires! Good stop made as the glove comes up by Shusterkin. You know, an easy bank as you know about Shusterkin really got a good stack on event. And oh boy, here they come. The fight is on. As right now, we have a man down. And Balmiri had that fighting to make that earlier. It's not easy. You can't get out of here. This is a lot of a battle range of New York. That's what happens. It's a fight crucial. And the fight wins for the New York Rangers. Two minutes and a five minute penalty will be delayed for on in between the Islanders and the Rangers. Tough easy enough that Palmier was trying to give a taunt look out there. And then what happens to Lindgren, he was going to come up and, and try to take a bow and says, Hey you, I'm coming up to go into your shoppage. Right now we have these call as right now standing in by will be test two. Sorokin has one of the post-to-post -post saves of this game, and it turned to be one of his biggest careers in this game. This offense has been turning like one of his better statistics and try to look over from one angle to another. Igor Sorokin has a butterfly effect that will have to make him a abusive work and turn it over to go with the effect of his reaction and try to pull it in bounds. I have a tough range in two between Sorokin and Sorokin. We'll find out who they have. Guys? Here's Baradera in shot and stopped by Sorokin. And Bonino have that back. Another big save by Sorokin. The Acer save, it's a currently a good statistic run. They are just keeping it out. Mayfield back to Otto and beat off to Walsh. 
He's on the takeaway chain. Deep firing the shot. It's been stopped by Shesterkin. Bonino right into the center. And now into the Islanders territory. Shot stopped made by Sorokin. Bonino finds again to the Kreider. He lost that puck as Horvath takes it down. 11 minutes to go in the first period as Rassal has it to Mayfield. He took a big hit out there. Oh my. Trevor really got, the, got nowhere to go. He has nowhere to run. He just wants to like, feel like he wants to stop. Well, officials are getting set here, ready for the faceoff. Islanders and the Rangers are still the best teams in the Battle of New York section. Here's Pelic. Back to get past. Marcel lost it. He scores! That was Horvath with the goal. 209 in his career. Next in two low. The Bo Horvath after this one back pass as the block turns over. But watch now. Horvath got that one in point. And this one was turned to be very close. That's a great help for the offense to pick up their run and have the extension. Islanders wins the faceoff. Pelic gave off to Holmstrom and he's on his way down towards the right center. Horvath shot. Rebound stop made by Shesterkin. On the back shot, he scores! Barsal, that is his first goal of the game. They have the extension 3-0 run. They are excited to have that one here. The Islanders are really off into a pressure. He made that rejection. Watch here. The cutting bound has like already been picking it up here. And then this is what Barsal made. He was beating the goaltender. Got a great use of a stick. It's all what happens now because Matthew Barsal had really gotten a good check on him. He made that with a good vision. He got a great timing and he had a one that time goal to have a beat over the goaltender and that puts up a win if you can try to stop him down. Here's Holmstrom shot. Shesterkin stops it again. He passed the midway mark in the mere period and it still comes along with a 3-0 lead. Here they are, back to another face-off win. The look over again. And now the face-off lead puts up for the Islanders. Hell a shot! Hit off the goalposts! Prior back to Wheeler. And now Gustafsson. He stops in right over into the Islanders territory. Moves it around inside the middle and he passes it back! That will be his first goal of the game and this one comes to be his 40th goal of the season. I don't know if you have ever seen if Gustav said he got that one cut and bound. That's a crazy look. Yes, look at him in here again. He just went right around him. I just did not see, but Gustav said's making the move. It looks like after from the Capitals, he just really got him like pressured off. A clean hit. He never got a penalty, nothing to call for. They should have counted as a no-go. That takes it over, but it was denied. No call challenging call. As it turns off to be a free one game. His quieter shot. Good glove by Sorokin. Under nine minutes remaining in the first period. This one starts off with 3-1 lead as the Rangers are on the board. Now they're ready to do an hour face off again. It's still a 3-1. They're trailing by two. Horvath wins the face off. And Dobson right into the center of the ice. Looking for more room. Dobson passes to Dobson and he had that save earlier. Gustafsson passed again to Kreider. He gets banged up on the boards hard. And Kreider trying to look for revenge. Oh my goodness, that's another big total hit. Pelic gives off to Holmstrom. Eight minutes gone by in the first period. And now find Marcel. Loses the puck and now finds Wheeler. Wheeler over again, trying to look for help. Valley with a loose puck and now find Jones. Over to Gustafsson. Save me, comes up by the pad of Sorokin. Romanov right over again to the right wing and now into the center it goes. Here comes Dobson right into the right wing and now find Nelson. Get back again, fires a shot. That's saved by Sorokin. Only 7.01 left to remain in the first period. And this one's also going to be happening in MetLife Stadium. Yes, exactly true. It looks like they were going to definitely happen again and again. 
If you're looking to get your tickets, be sure to get yours on now on February 18th. That will be happening here for the next game to get right into this one. A stadium series showdown between of the Flyers and the Devils. And boom, oh, excuse me, that Benino had that first goal. I had never saw that one coming. He got that one a slick hit. I never saw what Benito was doing it like this. And this one was going to be a slish on the move. He just made a pass right toward the goaltender on Sorokin. When he passed right toward the blue line, that was all it took. That was a rocket blast he took. They're down by one as the assist comes up to Capo Caco. And now they're back down by one. Like I just said here before, if you'd like to get your tickets, be sure to head on down to NHL.com slash stadium series for tickets. And a penalty call will be called on New York Islanders. Angbell is in the penalty box, only 6.39 to go. The Rangers will have their first look at their power play run, which is just coming down to a 6.38 in the period. The Islanders wins the faceoff. He will clear out into the Rangers territory. And that will be happening here at MedLife Stadium, so be sure to catch on now for the Stadium Series to have a match in between the Islanders and the Rangers. The power play comes up still running for the New York Rangers. As it goes right to Savannah he will have it to Lafayette, and now Savannah will have it. Into the Islanders' territory, looking for room. Shoots away, and it fires it out. Off the glass, and pull on. Oh, that Sorokin made a save on that play. Nice run. That really is going to be a hard win. Nobody has saw that one coming. Rangers still up and again to try to go for a tie run with just 5.40 to go. Now the win for Mayfield. Gustafsson recovers the puck, and Goodrow into the slider slider ice. In the middle, Lafreniere gets blocked up with the shot. Lafreniere shot, saved made by Sorokin. Thank you, has that one bucket right in with only 5.08 to go in the first period. Backhand shot, stopped made by Sorokin, and just 20 seconds for the Rangers power play. Mayfield, nobody open. They're down to a last seconds for the power play. Hayes ready to go. And that will end the power play for the New York Rangers as they come up empty, still clean, and 0-1 to bring out the start for New York Rangers. I never notice when this happens like this, but they really are getting a close by. It's what happens now because the Lafayette really would have to help the team out. They've got to figure some room to go with the suggested plan. They're just really keeping their eyes on here. I have no other clue what happens, but this is a lot of great time to make the advantage. Artemi Panarin has a third eye ability, and he will have to make his way tame, and he has a great percentage of having all in bound to have a good look in the range facility. This one turns to be one of the best players, and we're just keeping an eye on for Artemi Panarin to look for the third eye. Let's hope if he gets more to take it away from him. Guys, back to you. Benarin lost that puck and a shot that's taken away by the Islanders. 3.15 left to go as Pellets will have that puck. Valley will lose puck. Nelson goes down as Pellets lost the puck. And Benarin in the backhand. Oh, it hit the crossbar. I don't know if it was in there or not, but it was seemed like it was going to be a deny on the goaltender. Well, I must say, I don't know if it would hit the crossbar because if it was in between, it was if it was right in front of a net, it would have been a stop remain by Sorokin to try to hit it out. Sorokin comes in to save the game with only 2.27 to go in the first period. There's still a lot of time left remaining in the first period. 3 2 is a score for the Islanders to keep up. Romanov wins the faceoff and Pellet will have it again to Barsal. Barsal couldn't hold on with the puck and now it goes back to Goodrow. And he attacking him now. Oh, he could get a big fight out of it as Marcel give it back to Pelic. Not no, always a great defense. I never saw that one coming like that. Big save me by Sasukin. 
Bellich, back pass, broken up as Miller takes it over to Pidler. He's in the center now, looking for more. And he makes that shot, not this time as Sorokin makes a save. Killer, fired and blocked by Sorokin. Oh, he's still holding on. One minute remaining in the first period as Barsal will have it. Into the Rangers territory. Barsal looking for more, and a save made by Sorokin. Horvath recovers the pump. Over to Holmstrom. Slump saved by Shesterkin. The Banajad back to Wheeler. 20 seconds remaining in the first period and now finds the Banajad. Here he comes, right, right toward the right. In the prior. Shot saved made by Sorokin. With the fire, Buspier is out of here. Another save by Sorokin. And that will end the first period. 3 2. Great look of our head. They're looking to get more to crack it out. We'll be right back with the second period after this. We wanted to welcome you back at UBS Arena, where the Islanders and the Rangers met them back at each other in the Battle of New York. And now we are ready for the second period. As we have a look here, let's take a recap as Wood Spoonie stands by. I have one thing to go, he's all alone. On and bound. Oh, it's knocked away by Sorokin. What a stop made for the Islanders. Oh, that is a tricky one as I'm going over this. That is a lot of great hustle in the bound. He scores. Holmstrom gets the team up in front. And now it is a two-point lead for the Islanders. That's a lot of great hustle. And you can call for Holmstrom. He finally got hit score. Just a good one to take as Holmstrom really has a good backhand to keep the key technique. He really got that one with a good start. And keeping it here as for one. He really had that one all that time as Holmstrom really had that goal. Nice cut and bound, but that wasn't high on the reaction that turned to be like for Igor Sisterkin. It really doesn't happen to be like one of them, but it may be a tough one that might be turning it over and under. I'll find out if another goal puts a release. Back to you guys. We go back over again to have a recap in between. Let's have your take, Wood Spoonie. Well, in all that cases, I may have to say that they were really a good pressure. And this one is a battle in popping in its, its zone, its design, it's, it's coming to a really good strike. I really love when there is a great teamwork settling in for the Islanders and for the Rangers. They are both doing really well, keeping their eyes on the setup. And this one is starting to be a really uh, close game in between of those two. But it's great hold on for the Islanders to keep that one lead up off head. Now they have that goal. Looks like they might be going for more. Here's Pellich. He will have it into the Rangers territory. He will have it over again to Palmieri. On the way to Nelson. Blocked a shot as Panera and takes it over to Lafreniere. Two on one opportunity. Cut and bound. Sorokin denies the shot. Truba takes it over again. Shot clock made by Sorokin. He got a good pace of it. Stop the run with only 17.29 to go. Now Perry turned to be an extra killer and really turned it out. The win puts up four to the Rangers. He went down hard. Bonino, Lafreniere, and he scores. This is a back-to-back -back take in the Battle of New York in the UBS Arena. That might be a tough way that can keep an eye on it here. Alexis Lafreniere really got to pressure it, and it just got him clean. You saw that Truba went down, and this one gives it Benina, you give it over again, and then Lafreniere put a little shuffle quick motion, and man, he made that one to lift the rocket out of it, sling it back, and then beat right to the goaltender. That is really a tough one to keep an eye out of here. Really tough. Rangers are back down by one. They're still trying to look for the tie run of the game. And now for the win, here's Pollock. He finds Nelson. On a shot! The pad saved by Shusurkin. Nelson spins it over. That one deflected off target as Miller has it recovered. Fouling for the loose puck as Lafreniere gives it over to Bonino. He now finds Panera. In towards the right wing, he finds looking for room. Gives it to Bonino, and he scores! He ties this game! And assist by Artemi Panera.
There's number two. As we go for Nick Bonino, he really get the goal. You give it off the tape to tape front, and after our Tommy Panarin, it's Nick Bonino's turn. He took a hit, and he got that one clean. A good, comfortable line. Both teams are tied up by four, and they're looking for the next goal to take. After Alexis Lafreniere, it is a tie run of a game. 6.27 left to go in the second period. As right now, here's Lindgren, and he will have it out. He finds Horvath, and now back to Romanov. He gives the pass back to Horvath with Barsal. Cut inbound, put in front, saved me by Shesterkin. Holmstrom went wide. Valley with a loose puck, and he leaves the zone as Polak regroups the entrance. Horvath. Back into the Ranger zone. He finds Holmstrom. Pass saved by Shesterkin. Marsal takes it over. Try to look for more help. Poked out by Shesterkin. Jimmy Vesey has that one in covered and bound, and now give it off to Pitlick. In the offensive tap room zone, Pitlick finds Goodrow, shot went wide, and it goes right near the net. Holmstrom, Valley with a loose puck, try to look for clear war. Pitlick has that puck, and bounce, saved me by Sorokin. Marcel finds again with Holmstrom. Holmstrom trying to look for help, and Sterkin makes a glove save. 14, 12 to go in the second period, and they are trying to keep it out. This range might be the end site, and they are just trying to keep it out of nowhere to get right from here. Win puts up in for Mika Sabanaja. Lindgren has that butt. Oh, no penalty called on Islanders as Lindgren holds on. Right down towards the left spot, and the center pass, it went way up the mark, and it hit the goal post too soon. And it goes right back again to recover a puck. Here's Pellas, he will have that puck right away, and Baby has it. Baby gives off the lead. 13-10 left to go in the second period, and it's trying to figure out the number way to get there. Lee loses the puck battling. Lindgren right over into the slot. Finds Wheeler, and there was only 12.45 left to go. Kreider to Zibanejad. Get back again. And the bound is Wheeler. The Islanders take their position and now find Dobson. Deep on the pass and Palmier in the central ice. Center ice, now into the Rangers territory. Gustafsson gets to Lafreniere. Cuts off in the round. Moment off to Nelson. Deep pass again to Barsal. Clears the puck out. Keandre Miller's got the puck. Rangers on the attack position. Two on two. And Aaron, shot saved me by Sorokin. Now back to Lafreniere, and now over again, shot stopped again. Palmier has that one in bounds. Trying to keep that puck out of here. Bonino, Evan Aaron, saved again by Soroke. That really is going to be a tough reaction, and this one is not easy enough that they are trying to keep it out. Just Sturkin's going to hold up with only 10.35 left to go in the second period, and they're going to have Mama Room to take it over. Now they're ready to do another faceoff. It's still a tie game, looking for a goal to take the lead. Win for the Islanders. Miller takes it over as, the, as he goes down. He finds BZ and out into the center ice. Clears the puck out in the Islanders' territory. Back on a rebound. BZ has it. On the back and the lead it. Oh, it's the Roken makes a stop. Just made it to the midway mark. And he just paid to take the lower face off coming in. Oh my goodness. I never seen how this one comes in. That's a big hit on the guy. Ready for another one? It's still a tie game. Win for good draw. Shot blocked away. BC recovers that puck. Soroka makes another save. Gertro gets the true buck. Full pressures off the range for the New York Rangers. It's now fashioning. We'll clear the puck out. It goes into the crowd and the faceoff is coming up. Ready to take the number face off after after a delay of this game. Now turning to be 9.31 left to go. Mayfield has that puck. 
Try to keep it out in the center ice. Mayfield, deep it over to Fastlane. Chuba takes over as Kako takes it out. In towards center. Lost that puck, but a shot. Block, nice uh, covering save by the Islanders. Zikas, back to Apo. He finds Fashion. Fashion, right over into the Islanders to the Rangers territory. Carter Buck shot. Good save by Sisterkin. 8.15 to go in the second period. And now Cole has that puck. Keeps the puck out of here. And another one comes in for Pellich. Back, back for another battle lane for the loose puck. Fast Jane over to Dobson. He gets the puck over to Horvath. He's now in the battle of the range. Back and bound. Trying to take the lead. Truba takes out with the puck way. Coil right towards his center. He finds Benino. He's over now to Truba and now give to Miller. Deep now to Kreider. On a shot range, Sorokin, and oh, he made another terrible time save. Kako, backhand, denied. That is a hard one, and I've never seen what it is Sorokin. He's been like, keeping it out of sight. That is a, like a hard one to bring in and reach out. Tough one to clear it out, if you don't mind. <laughs> That's so bad. That's like a tough one, and everybody's been like, paddling. Class, ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> Definitely true. New group sign changes as right now the New York Rangers have the position. Miller has it in front. Has now the Kreider. Shot on the range. Sharukin saves again. Dobson now finds Pelich. Pelich looking for more help. Dobson has it over again. Now finding Holmstrom. And Engle with the puck. Kreider takes the puck over. On towards the slot, and there is another hit takedown. Drops it back to Pelich. Under five minutes remaining in the first, second period. Gustafs said he passed to Goudreau. Goudreau fires the puck around the net. Pelich finds Nelson. Nelson right over to the left wing. On a shot, loses it. Doesn't able to take that time as VZ has it over to get in the pit leg. Pit leg on the right side. He gets covered up. Recovered by Gustafsson. Lindgren shot. Waste off the mark at St. V by Sorokin. Shot was direct, redirected as Nelson takes it back. He gets smashed up the wall and now finds Gutro. Gutro went back down. Here's Putluck on the backhand, blocked away, and that's another one stop made. And he's all covered up. Now back again to Vamiri. 2.50 left to remain in the second period. Here's Lee. 201 opportunity. Cut him out, has been kicked out. No penalty on the Islanders. Oh boy, that's another good. And that was going to be a smash down for the Islanders to keep him out of sight. They really are crushing in pressure. I never know what was going to happen like that. Just circuit makes a save. 203 left to go in the second period. They're getting tired right now in the second period, but we'll be able to take a break before the third. That's a monstrous hang. That's crazy. Face off coming in for the Rangers and for the Flyers and for the Islanders. Only 203 left to go. Now we're waiting for the Rangers that are all tied up with 13 again. Snyder, try to find help. Panarin has that puck. Lost that one as Wellstrom has it. Deep over to Lee. Lee right towards the center shot. Oh, and just took and makes a save. Just 126 left to go. We are almost finished with the second period and they are still looking for some goals to take on with the slot. With the win, here's Schneider. Deep pass again to Lafreniere. Over into the right wing. Tries to look over in either the slot. Deep pass, pulls it up. Pull up will have that buffer, but in one minute remaining. Deep it over to Horvath, and now find Barcelo. Tries to give the Horvath, and shot saved me by Shostokin. 
Cross all inbound. Good stop by an assist Durkin made. Three times stop. It looks like this is a hard one to take. I've never seen what goes like this. But the Sturgeon really got great. Devanage wins the face up. Slater get back to Wheeler. Wheeler loses the puck possession. Fans are chanting, let's go Islanders. Wheeler trying to beat the goaltender with the shot, and that is it. Great stop by Sir Broken, and that will stay inbound. Both teams are tied, looking for our next goal to take. Be right back after this. This is where it comes down to the final period of the Battle of New York. Islanders and Rangers are ready to set, rehydrate, and ready to go. And here we are, folks, ready to bring on to the third period. It has been a one heck of a night in between the Battle of New York for a tough one to be taken on a showdown. Who do you think they will have the much percentage here, Luke Sweeney? Well, I must say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell, take a lot of good respect for the Islanders. They really are putting a lot of great hits in the field goals night. They're putting up a lot of percentage. The goal field goal range has really been turning like it's a big slot. And I've never seen what was going to happen like that. They really are keeping it out of here. A lot of stoppage. This advantage is really like a hard one to take. But not to worry. They're really all in for a hit. Ryder on the release man lost that puck. Puck's taken away as this one goes back again to Durbin. Dumps in. Here comes Barcel. He will have that puck in the right wing. Good takeaway as Kuba has that back. And Kreider has that puck. Dumps in. We'll try to look for some open angle. In the driving center, looking for more. Dumps in. Shot! Rerounded, saved, made by Shusterkin. Renato finds again to Benero. He's now in with a two-on-one attack. Islanders take their possession. No penalty on the Rangers. Renato! Oh, what a big save by Sir Rokin. Under 17 minutes remaining in the third, it's still tied. You can't make it easier, and this one's a lot of great stoppage for the goaltenders to try to come up there saving big. I know this wasn't really that easy, but to tell you now, that's a hard one to pick up. Islanders under possession as Engel has that puck inbound. Here comes Trubo. On the pass to Benero, shot up, it's a working stop. 16-21 to go in the third period. Still looking for a goal to take the lead to end the run. With the win, here's Lindgren. Good stop by Sorokin as he shows up right by, and it will keep him here for another face-off coming. Now they're ready to do this one again. It's still tied up, 16-15 to go in the third period. Battling for the loose puck. Here's Bernino, right behind the net. Tries to pass it all over with the shot, and stopped by Sorokin. Romanov recovering over again to Eggbell. Spins it around with the puck settling. Pass to Nelberg. Nelson went down. Recovered that puck. Now he gives over again to Polak and he will have to fire it again to Vamir. Vamiri. Nowhere open look at the target and now finds Gustafsson. And Kreider get back to his advantage at. He goes down, lifting it from back again to the Islanders. Lindgren takes it over. Well shown, here comes Lee. That shot went wide. Lindgren past the wheeler. Tries to look for another steal. Lee trying to hold up on him. Wheeler finding Zibanejad. Who stops him, and Peggy takes it off. He's all in the low now. The puck leaves the zone as the Rangers will take their mount. Here's Wheeler. The pass. We have shot. It's stopped by Sorokin. 
He's off again to Gustafsson. Over again to Lazier. Shot blocked up. Gobble the puck down with just 13.30 to go in the third period. All officials are getting set and ready for another face-off to go. Still a tie game, looking for another face-off wins to keep going. 19 and 15 was the run for the New York Rangers. And now it's 19-16, another face-off win for the Islanders. Here's Gustav Sen with the puck, and another stop by the goaltender. Cuts back, find Lindgren. Over to VZ. Jimmy Vizi will fire the puck out here in the Islanders' territory. Dodge, try to look over and bound. Kicks the puck. No recovery for the offense. Hit neck to Vizi. On a bound, and he scores! Good throw has their team up in a lead for the first time in the game of the Battle of New York. They finally have one all. It never turned it out. When Barclay Goodrow gave out a good look, he got that beaten clear and good goal made. After you give it off to Brazy and then you give it off to Barclay Goodrow, you make that one a good shot. And now it turned to be like it's a tip off for Arnold Sorokin. That's going to be a little hard to take out. Rangers are in the lead. It's 5 4 as Barclay Goodrow has 32 points. Looks like the Islanders may have to find another way to do to try to defend it up. Now Dobson. Give off to Horvath. Lindgren has that puck. Now finding it again to Goodrow. Goodrow gets swiped out. He just bit like he will have that one in the other hand. Pass to Vizzi. He's over and bound. Felix like Schneid rebound and he scores. Oh man, that's another back-to-back -back goals for the New York Rangers. They are extending it up again. Pitlick has his first goal of his career. Welcome to the team. If all that easy enough here because Pitlick was trying to put a man on him, he's just trying to put a puck, puck put back and then go right from it. That's like give me some puck and show him that love and that puts him in there to try to like smack it out and then try to go around it. That is really a tough one. I've never seen him what was going to happen like that. That is a great intentional right news. That's stopped by Shusterkin. 11.30 to go in the third period. Rangers have a lead up by two. Still looking for another goal to have that range out. The win for Islanders. Nice block. Rebound. Oh, Shusterkin made that one save earlier. Again and again. It doesn't really happen at that point. When you get that off that clearly, you, you've got to maintain your rest pressure and have it hold on tight. With the win, that's it. That one's deflected off again. Oh, show. Loses the fucking bound. And there anyway, we'll have that fucking bound. And now finally, not in the air, we're going to get the Miller. He's on his way down. Tries to give up to Benaire. Finding Lafaniere shot. Sorokin makes a save. Just about 10.41 to go in the third period. Looking like they're going to have to find somebody else if they can get there. The win puts up again and Pellets to lead. Here's another one. This one fires out. Miller, get the pass to Lafaniere. Lafaniere be given over again to get into Truba. Looks like he wants to do something else. Loses the puck inbound. Now find Oxen, and now over again to Lee. Lee right onto the right wing. Tries to go inbound, and it's just Sorkin makes a stop. Pass the midway mark of the period with under 5 third 40 to go. And looks like this was a tough breakup. Oh, there is nothing to make the true knights of Jacob Truba. That's a hard hit. We do have a clear winner. We go to test two. Igor Sestukin really loved that intentional work out there. I have a lot of great strength for him, and he has been going right with this butterfly effect. And turned out that he's going to do it all. What a big night. DeAndre Miller goes down, and oh, Sorokin makes a save. Here's Dobson. Give off to Belich. He's over again to Engel. 
Tries to try to go over to the defenders. Dobson can't hold on the puck. Zibanejad clears it off. In the Islanders' territory. Pelic. Gives the pass to Nelson. Moves it quickly to Dobson. Clears out, and now we'll go into the Rangers' territory as Gustafsson gives it over again. He makes a slap down. Pelic. He passes again to Enga. Under eight minutes remaining in the third period. The pass to Nelson shot. It was deflected and it went off the defender as he went down. Nelson giving it over again to Pulley. On to make it bound to Romanov. Shot it. Saved me by Shesterkin. Lindgren firing it over again as a Benajad. Trying to recover the puck. Lindgren still trying to look over and Wheeler has it. We are coming in bounds. Stop by Sir Rogan. We're under seven minutes remaining in the third period. They're still looking for our goal to take away from it. Another one coming in for the Rangers and for the Islanders. They look like they're trying to get over to this one and looking for another way to try to take them here. The shot went stop wide by Sir Rogan. 6.45 left to go in the third period. Now for Naren. And a cut bound, loses the connection and goes way right through the glass. Lindgren, oh, deflection points for Artemi Panera. And that one turned to be like a three point lead. I can't say that Artemi Panera really got that deflection. Good way to help Ryan Lindgren out. Yeah, this really has to be a clear vision here. And this one has to be a good help here for the offense to try to do some a little defensive effort. And it's just right, right from here. Artemi Benera had that deflection. He put the stick up and the puck went in. Artemi Benera has been really well at this point. And for a less than slap in here, he's been training him in one of his recent years from this part of the game before the you know, matchup has been turning over like in between. Regular season and in postseason, that turned to be like a very tough on honors. But they were really like trying to like keep him out of here. And kiss, it does turn out once again. Great work for Alexis Lafreniere and for Artemi Panarin with the goal. He fires a shot way outside, and now Panarin will have it again. He's on a fast break. He went down. No penalty on Allenos. Fashion. Puck in the corner, right by the blue line. Lafreniere recovers it. On a big away. They take the attack arc. Clutterbuck will have that puck here. Tries to change it up with the shot. It's blocked up. Under five minutes remaining in the third period as they're trying to look for open offense. Romanov shot. Hit off the pad again by Shesterkia. Lindgren trying to hold it from in between. The shuffle of the puck. From the left wing, he finds VZ. In the middle. Oh, he holds it on too soon there. And Romanov gives it back to Corbin. Four or five left to go. He passes again to Marcel. And Horvath inbound, rebound, stopped by Shesterkin. 3.50 left to remain in the third period. They're still keeping out of sight. Easy enough to say this. I mean, you can say that Igor Shesterkin got a great butterfly effect. He really turned out one to be clear. The win. Romanov stopped away by Shesterkin. Truba battling along for the loose puck. He gets blocked up. Miller takes it over again to Pitlick. Pitlick finds Miller. On a big amount. Stopping the Irish defense. And they're on full pressure. Romanov shot. Stop away by the defender. Home show. Romanov shot. See, Sturkin makes a save. Another big saving night for the New York Rangers. Oh, man. I don't know what to tell you now. Mate. It's a lot of a hard, unexpected run. I can't believe that they are kicking in. Wynn puts up for the Islanders. That went wide. And Errol J lets go Islanders. Now it's stopped. Olsho has a puck. In behind the net. Diagonal pass to Horvath. Over now to Olsho. He's right in towards again to Brasol's shot. Sisterkin makes a save. Trubus got it across. Horvath 
Right towards the back, and a shot bound, save me by Sister King. 150 left to remain in the third period as they're still trying to get it back. But there may not be enough to get there in time. The Andre Miller shot locked up. Palmieri with the puck here inbound in the corner. Kicks it out. Zibanejad has that puck in down and now finds Pryor. Wheeler shot. Lost that one and it's only one minute remaining in the third period. The time is winding down in the full regulation of the Battle of New York. We really must say that this was a tough kiss that can't be left away. After a save, Palmier shot, went over the net, and right toward the board. Oh, the puck leaves the zone, and this one goes back to Polik. And now back to Romanov. 20 seconds left. The shot, nowhere luck. Jones and your team will have will take their win as Zibanejad has that one to come up with a New York Rangers win. At the Rangers town, they will go back home and celebrate. Yes, it's exactly that true. I must tell you, they've done it all. And that's it. That game is over. Chris Kreider hits that goal. 266 goals. That's what all happens now. Kreider, an unleashable tank. You make this clear at work, and you know you give it to Kreider, and that's what happens now. That's all you type. Kreider to end their game here. The last one stands by. New York Rangers win the game in UBS Arena. 8-4 is your final score of the period. And that will do it. Well, I guess that one turns to be a huge victory win for the Rangers. They are on the top of the sea. They've definitely done their best. It's easier enough the big star in the Metropolitan Division. That is what happens now. They've done quite. And that's going to do here with me, Boomer Woodspoony, and of course with Test 2. This has been a presentation of the NHL Rival Week on EA Sports. Now let's take you back down to Son of Beast. We see you all again next time. Have a great night, everybody. All right, thanks so much, Boomer. And this one turns to be the Rangers win. Let's have your three star players of the game. Bo Horvat is your first star, first star with a goal, two assists, and four kits. Only turn out to be a one time clean. Alexis Lafreniere with a second star, goal to assist and four gets the same thing like Corbat. But your first star player of the game, it all has to be a rise for Nick Bonino. Two goals, one assist and one hit was all happened to be won after a take to tape by Artemi Benarin. Here's how they did with the total statistics here as Rangers have a 55 over 51 total shots on goal, 50 over 45 for the gets of the New York Rangers. 642 over 538, 91 percentage over 87, 24 over 22 was New York Islanders that turned it out. The penalty kill was in between the Rangers and the Islanders with the fight, and two minute penalty was for the Islanders, and only two minutes with the power play. No power play goal, unfortunately, this one turned to be empty. So that's it for this game. I hope this one turns to be the right uh, game for you if you like this one, but at this moment, we're going to have another game matchup as we will see more underway soon. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'll have tons of more, including the cruise ship that we'll be doing here as also. And then to please don't forget the game is happening on February 18th on Sunday back at MetLife Stadium after the Devils and the Flyers for our last night's part of a game on February 17th. So make sure you catch your game now for the Navy Federal Credit Union of the Stadium Series. In the meantime, thank you for watching. I appreciate you all for tuning in. We'll see you all again for our next Mark Rival Week game. Peace out for a while as the NHL Rival Week of NHL 24 on EA Sports. Son of Beast is out of here. Wish you all a good night. See you folks next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody.